Hello, this is Devin from WP Theming, and this is a video overview of the portfolio theme that I've just created. Um, and this video shows you how to set it up and use it on your own site. So this is a demo that I've set up, and I already have some of my portfolio items already in here. Um, you notice when you click on them, it will take you to a single page that shows a larger version of the image and some text that you may have written about it. To set this up on your own site, you'll need to install the portfolio theme if it's not already there. So go ahead and click under Appearance, go to Themes, click Install Themes, and do a search for the portfolio theme. Should pop up somewhere in here. This is it. Go ahead and click Install. And activate it. As soon as you activate, you'll notice there's a new little tab over here on the left side underneath your posts. Um, this is a custom post type, and it's where we're going to put in the portfolio items that show up on this screen here. The way to do that is to click on Add New Item. Go ahead and give your item a title. You can give it some text. And then you need to upload a featured image. And that's the image that shows up here and in the large single view. To do that, you click there, choose a file from your computer or a URL, upload it, and click this button here, use this featured image. If that was done correctly, your image should now be here. And you can publish your post. And when you view it, it should show up just like it does on the single view of this demo here with the large image up there and your text underneath. See on this page I've set up a menu item for portfolio and when you click there it shows all your portfolio items. Um, by default when you load the portfolio theme you won't get that menu item up there. You need to add that in. So what we need to do is actually reset our permalinks because custom post types use a different rewrite. And just go ahead and if you already have pretty permalinks set, you just need to save the changes and they'll get rewritten. And then go and create a new page. And you can call this page whatever you want. I'm going to call it portfolio and select from your templates here the portfolio template and go ahead and publish that. Now when I refresh this I should have the portfolio item and when I click on it I see my first item in the portfolio is there. So the way I did that was by using a page, creating a page and doing a page template you could also do it straight from your menus here. Um, this theme does use the new WordPress 3.0 menus. So you can do it like that. Go ahead and create your menus. Make sure it goes in the primary spot and click save. Now if we refresh, I think all the video yeah, all the menus disappear and you can choose which ones you want to go in there and rearrange them if you want. Well, maybe that's easier. And then when you click on your portfolio item, again, it still shows up how it did before. So I hope that answers the basic questions about the portfolio theme. If you have any questions, feel free to email me or attach comments to this post and I'll try and help you out as best I can. Hope you enjoy using the theme and if you are using it on your site, do send a comment and, and we'll link to you and I'd love to see how it's being used out there.